Hey, welcome to the Uncomfortable is Okay podcast. I'm your host, Chris Desmond. This is a show where we make it easier for you to get out of your comfort zone so you can find your magic. Merry Christmas. I'm realizing that this episode is going to come out on Christmas Day. And to kind of recap the year, I thought what I'd do is is something pretty similar to what I've done last year. Five of the most uncomfortable things that I did or that happened to me over the course of the year. So the first one is that I've started doing a lot more public speaking around uncomfortable is okay. So I've had the opportunity to present a couple of times uh, and talk about getting out of your comfort zone, how to do it, why you should do it, and some of the best strategies to go about it at a few different places this year, um, including giving a, a keynote presentation on it as well. So that's been, there's been a lot of fun. It's been a bit nerve wracking to begin with, but actually it's once I've kind of stepped into it and actually started the presentation, it's been so much fun and I've just absolutely had a, had a blast, but it's been uncomfortable getting up and talking about this topic in, in front of a whole lot of people. Because I do have a bit of imposter syndrome that goes on around this. Uh, I've got some expensive certificates that sit up on a wall from universities telling me that, hey, yeah, you can do this. But I don't have any expensive certificates that sit up on the wall around getting out of your comfort zone. It's just been my own research, been my own experimentation. So it's been a little bit challenging grappling with that. But the more I do it, the more confident I get in it. And I think the better my delivery is as well. So done a few public speaking events, as I said, but also a few podcasts around that as well, guesting on other people's shows, which has been good and it's been great practice. And it's always fun to be a guest because you get asked some really awesome questions that help you figure out more about the topic and about yourself. So that's number one. Number two is... I ran my first workshop this year as well. So a live workshop, a live training for people to come in and work through a process that I have developed after talking to all of these amazing people and interviewing them and picking their brains and, and asking them what they've done. And we we did that in Wellington and we had a few people there and worked through process of strategically identifying a challenge to step out of your comfort zone, working on the plan for it, identifying the obstacles, identifying your motivations and also parts where you were going to get uncomfortable and then shaping some strategies to put in place so that you could, so that you can get out of your comfort zone when you hit those obstacles. You can work through them, around them, or over them, or underneath them, or just sidestep them all together. It was a whole lot of fun. And actually, those of you in Wellington, I am running another workshop on the 26th of January. So it's great for it's great for those people who set New Year's resolutions every every year, but don't actually carry through with them. Um, so come along. We will set you up with a, with a plan and with some strategies so that you can keep going with those New Year's resolutions when things start to get uncomfortable. Uh, you can grab tickets www.surmountcourse.com S-U-R-M-O-U-N-T That's S-U-R-M-O-U-N-T course.com There's early bird tickets on until early January, so make sure you jump on, grab an early bird ticket, because the price does go up in early January. So that's the second uncomfortable thing that I've done this year. Now, the third uncomfortable thing that I've done this year is I actually started a business around the podcast as well, because I I love the podcast and it's not going anywhere. But I've recorded over a, over 120 interviews with people and a lot of solo episodes as well. And I've proved to myself kind of what I wanted to prove to myself initially that, hey, this is a, this is a fascinating topic. People want to listen to this. People want to, to talk about this and be interviewed. And actually, I have a meaningful contribution to, to add to it. But it's kind of become comfortable for me now just doing the podcast which isn't really the point. I've got to I've got to be able to walk the walk as well as talk the talk. And 
if you guys want to jump into into a bit deeper the process that uh, I went through when I was starting starting off uncomfortable media, then there are a whole lot of short podcast episodes as a kind of a timeline through the project as I did that that you can go through. I think there's about ten of them or ten or eleven. They're the evolution titled short podcast, about five minutes each week as I go through the go through the process of, of setting up a business. And that's it's been uncomfortable because it's it's made it kind of real that hey actually I'm sticking my hand up and I'm saying, yeah, this is something that I'm super interested in and that I want to pursue and I want to see if it will be if it'll be viable and if I can can create something that will fund itself and beyond and also help a whole lot more people strategically get out of their comfort zones because I'm sure that a lot of you do get help just by listening to the podcast but actually there's a lot more value in sitting down and working with people in a one-on-one or in, in a group and actually taking them through the process and problem solving with them together and that's been there's been so much fun with it but it's also again super uncomfortable because there's so much uncertainty around it I'm not sure if it'll work I'm not sure hey is this going to be what's going to be the best fit in terms of services that that I offer Um, and there's a lot of ideas there that um, I can test out but it is it's really uncomfortable kind of going through this this initial stages and I'm sure it's going to continue to be uncomfortable forever basically um, but it's uncomfortable going through these initial stages because there is so much uncertainty and there's it's something that I'm I'm super excited about and, and passionate about and want it to work so bad but it may not and I have to I have to come to, to terms with that and because otherwise that'll just just hold me back is that I'll, I'll be scared of of failing it's something that I, I keep an eye on that and that I need to, to work through. So starting a business and being a, a director of a business is, is the third uncomfortable thing for me this year. <clears throat> now I know that I said I was gonna I was gonna bring up five uncomfortable things, but actually I'm only gonna do four. I'm just gonna do four uncomfortable things because the, the final uncomfortable thing for me this year was that I became a dad and I became a dad back in April and those of you that have listened for a while will probably have noticed a little bit of a drop in frequency of podcasts around that time. Uh, so my son was born on the 17th of April and I was super scared about becoming a dad. I was like, am I going to be a good dad? Uh, how am I going to go with this? But it's, it's been amazing. Uh, and I'll definitely talk more about it at a later date. But yeah, the last eight months have been a bit of a bit of a roller coaster ride being a dad. And because I am now a dad, I think I'm pretty much going to be uncomfortable for the rest of my life, basically. Which is great because I need to walk the walk as well as talk the talk. There are the four big uncomfortable things that I've got into. For this year and I'm just uh, in the stages of planning for 2019 so what I might do early next year is is give you a heads up with some of the uncomfortable stuff that I'm going to be working on in 2019 so that you all can help me out with it because I would love the uncomfortable community to get involved and and help us out uh, help each other out getting outside of our comfort zones Uh, so you can help me with that too but as I said if you're in Wellington in January 26th the surmount workshop is on there head over to surmountcourse.com and grab your early bird tickets now but i want to just finish off with a couple of thank yous so thank you to everyone that has supported the the podcast this year my brother jeremy for the amazing theme music jyland for the editing which has been especially helpful since my son came along everyone else that downloads the podcast listens to it spends time with me and and my guests each week people that share the podcast out it's it's amazing people that subscribe to the podcast so that you get it uh, on the regular people that talk to other people about getting out of your comfort zone and, and actually go and apply the concepts that, that we've talked about here. I, I, that means a lot to me. 
that people go out and, and do this stuff and, and find it helpful and find it valuable. And it's one of the reasons that I, I keep pushing forward with it is that like I want to do cool stuff myself, but there's only so much cool stuff that I can do. But if I can leverage the cool stuff that I'm doing to help other people do cool stuff in their lives, then that shit just gets exponential. And just think of the amount of cool stuff we can do if we all get outside of our comfort zone. So thank you for listening, but thank you for applying what you're hearing as well. I hope you all have a really merry festive season uh, with your loved ones. It's been it's been amazing to be part of your year. And I think actually there's an episode coming out this Friday as well. So it's not the last one for the year, but I don't say thank you in that one. So thank you so much this year for getting uncomfortable with me. 